Hey guys, so it's here bringing you a, another video. So welcome back to Climb to Master. We return actually starting a little bit into the video uh, because I'm in promo to Diamond 2 and I just thought let's just focus purely on the gameplay. So this commentary may not be a proper commentary if you will, uh, but just to show you the ratings. So it's actually really weird that the ratings are all over the place. Like on my team, I'm in promo to Diamond 2, but we've got a Diamond 2, a Diamond 5, a Diamond 4, a Diamond 3. Enemy team, Diamond 3, Diamond 3, Diamond 4, Diamond 3, Diamond 2. So the ratings are very all over the place. The only rating we're missing from Diamond in this game is a Diamond 1 player. That's it. Uh, it's rather like broad. Uh, but as for experience and stuff, Aurelian Soul is one of my weaknesses as a player of League. Uh, but luckily this guy doesn't seem to be a big Aurelian Soul player. So I'm hoping we'll be okay. Uh, but my team all has positive win rates. And all of us actually have very good win rates. Enemy team all have... Ah, yeah, they no, big difference. Three of them have negative win rates. So by the statistics and win rates, we should have the advantage to win this game. So uh, I actually will check if this person is duo because they are a little bit lower rated. So this person duos with these people. Is there a PT? No PT. Is there a Kara or Rost? There's no. So he's probably solo queue. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Where I'm playing Malzahar in the mid lane. All right. I've already done that. All right. Welcome to the game. So as I mentioned, we're in Diamond 2 promo. So excuse if this isn't the best commentary uh out there because i am very much going to be just focusing on trying to play the best i can just pointed out to that guy that there's a cled with ignite uh -oh. <laughs> don't know why pike did that but sure Oh, is it weird that I'm never nervous in solo key, but I'm nervous in this game right now? Like, I actually can feel a bit of nerves. I don't know why. I, I, I wasn't even nervous when I was near Master last year. And I was playing with Master and Challenger players. But for some reason, I'm nervous right now. It's because this year has been a pretty bad year for me in solo queue. Like, I think I was Diamond 2 earlier in this season. But I, ha I didn't get back to Diamond 1 yet this season. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I really care. Again, goddamn Aurelians. This is the third Aurelian I'm playing against in a row, by the way. I don't know how many of the games are going to make it on YouTube. Uh, because even some of the victories weren't very good. Like, I just played a Thresh game. And uh, that game ended in 14 minutes. A victory, obviously. We're in promo. Um, oh, I didn't get any of this farm. See what I mean? Aurelian. Don't you love him? I got... One farm. Can't do anything! You just get pushed in and then the tower kills the minions at level 1 because you don't have perfect sync. The hell? That was really desperate. I'm hoping she runs into the Zin. That was, like, insanely desperate. Go, boy. I'm dead. Wow, got completely screwed. <sighs> Maybe the mid and jungler on the enemy team are duo okay. queue. Because they seem to be working together quite well for, like, you know, solo queue players. Go! Oh, no. Okay, they traded. That's not too bad. Especially that, remember, that Kled's got Ignite. If Kled is trading and he's got the Ignite advantage, that's actually not very good for Kled. Because, look, Darius is straight back in lane. Don't die bot lane. Both sums used for Vayne. Uh, Pike just killed a Vayne. To be honest, I don't think that's worth. But okay. Because I think Vayne was alive if he didn't hook the Brom. Or if he delayed the hook. Could have delayed the hook for, until Vayne was a little bit more safe, maybe. 
Okay, Camille's in bot lane. Zin's gonna be careful in there. I have a funny idea that the mid, the Relian and the Camille are gonna work very hard together to shut down me and the Zin this game. I just have that feeling. Nervous that she's here somewhere. It isn't a fernal. Whoa, look at the farm difference. And then that's the difference I spoke about. Of Darius trading with a Kled even though he's got Ignite. Because now the Kled knows that the Darius will win straight up. Because if the Darius basically traded when an Ignite was used. Darius just has a huge advantage now. Nice. Go. Could be. They can just run. Oh, the dot ran out at a bad time. Oh. This weird feeling that I've got. I don't like that these guys have really overstayed. Like, I know they're getting a really nice little farm bubble, but no mana and stuff now. If, if the enemy team in, like, camp, like, went for them right there, they'd both be dead. What a random time to recognize me. He's, like, fighting the Kled in top lane. Huzzy, are you YouTuber? Yeah. Keep fighting him in top lane, buddy. Well done. <laughs> Well, that was really random. He's literally typing recognizing me as he's fighting the Kled. Uh oh. Damn. They might try to do Baron. Not Baron. Why did Vayne go around that way? That was pretty bad. <laughs> uh. Someone's tilted. <laughs> Again, it's a really bad idea to be toxic in the last month of the season because I can just get these people banned. But okay. Literally showing thousands of people being toxic. Riot can't ignore that. They'll get themselves banned and then not have any rewards at the end of the season. Because they are SM matey. That was close. SM matey. Uh, the vein just seems to. I don't know what I've done to the vein to make her like crazy toxic, but. Because, like, she said, don't ping. And obviously, I'm going to ping because you don't threaten people like that. But like, I don't even know where that came from in the first place. Like, my pinging of the dragon didn't make her walk that way alone, unless she thinks it did. Again, if I don't ping now, they'll both die, but maybe they are both ignoring me now. I have no idea. Can some people do have issues that they take into the game of League? 
sadly. And again, if you are one of those people that are toxic and you take your in real life problems into League, as I've always said, there's no shame in getting help. There's absolutely no shame in it. Damn, this is getting owned. Like, there is nothing that I can do in that. Like, none. <laughs> like, she walked into, like, Zin walked into her, she flashed on him, I stopped the Aurelian, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> uh, I'm making one right now. Like, <sighs> making a video right now highlighting terrible p players. What is going on? Sure. But let's just go into full mute mode. Like, again, apparently these people don't want to win. I, I I don't know why I'm the scapegoat of this game. I've done nothing to the Vayne. And I've done nothing to the Zin because of all his plays. He's just got in by himself. Damn. If he turned quicker, we could have 2v1 that easily. Uh, yeah, we can. E? Now you press it. That was really late. Right, Clyde doesn't have teleport or now ulti. <laughs> Don't know if I can get this tower. Sadly not. But that does set up the Darius to get it. The next time he can push in, to be honest. I don't want to overstay in top lane. But I will say, this has been a good example of what YouTubers and streamers and stuff have to deal with. I've done nothing, I, I feel I've done nothing to deserve what I've got this game. Just people are being really toxic for whatever reason. Like they're just having a bad time. They're jealous of that like, I'm a YouTuber streamer. They want to be. I have no idea. Like, again, it's very common. It's incredibly common when you look in the comment section. Uh, people who are toxic to you and they've got like three videos uploaded and zero views. It's incredibly common because then the jealousy thing comes in. The Zin is costing this game, though, really badly. Uh, the Camille's just winning in that matchup. Just hands down. But somehow that's my fault. Because logic. Oops. Yeah, I do prefer our team comp slightly, but I think I prefer the enemy team players. The hell is the Kled doing? I didn't want to take the kill, so... Fair, Darius probably has to carry this game if we want to win. Well, he has to carry until mid-late game. If we can get to mid-late game and the enemy team aren't too far ahead, then I think we're fine, but we're losing every lane apart from top. 
Vayne overstayed, but she might be alive. No, she's dead. And she overstayed in bot lane by herself. They're gonna do dragon. Not the end of the world for us. now he already used the C so get in front of him there we go right, there's probably an already going top lane boom Fane's overstaying again I know it's a lot of people like that's not overstay it is when you have zero vision above you see Dead again. She did get a kill, so that's really good. But it is overstay. Another name off the if list. If I on purpose push deep here and try to bait people coming up this way to kill me and walk into the Darius, that potentially could get us one or two kills. Uh, stupid Jawa, thanks so much, dude. I don't want to die for that. We have zero vision of the enemy team. Uh, there's different definitions of intentionally feeding, depending what rating you're in. Again, if you're a high rating and you go 0 19, for example, and you're not actually running in and walking it in mid, you're, at, you're still in team. Because you, to a, let's say a master player, a master player will never go 0 19 if they're actually trying. You don't have to be walking into people, but that is inting. But in bronze, would I report a bronze player for going 0 19? Arguably no, because they just might not know what they're doing. The differences of ratings. Oh. That was weird. That was weird vein positioning. That was a good silence. Unfortunately, we don't get anything from it, but it was good. Yeah, no, 0 19 is still high deaths for a bronze player. I just personally wouldn't report a bronze player for it. That's my point. I can't stop this. Uh, he's got zero vision below him. Just the tip. What the hell's the clad doing? Huh? That was weird. That was 
Very weird. Again, sorry for my lack of, like, enthusiasm. Obviously, considering what's been said this game, and I don't think I deserved any of it. It's not really going to make me kind of all fun and bubbly. It's a rather demoralizing thing, to be honest. So, yeah. Kind of sucks. Dot. Oh, my dot bounced. I said that Darius has to carry this and he luckily is. All right, we're doing it. Again, this game's a 4v5 because we don't actually have a vein. She's not got involved at all, but we're making it work. I'm doing all right this game. Be good to upload this one, though, if it is a win. Hell, I might not even upload it if it's a loss, just to kind of show what YouTubers have to deal with occasionally. It's not nice. Yeah, well played to this guy. I'd give this guy a golden cookie if I had one. Oh, I want to go to Infernal. We need Darius. He's got Teleport, but I think we need him with us. What can I do to me? <laughs> They're gonna do Infernal now though. Yep. Goddamn Zin getting caught all the time. There's just no reason for him to be in the positions that he is. He's just putting himself at unnecessary risk. But he's doing it all goddamn game. What the hell? What happened? Did her get... Camille's second half to her E went after the Darius E. That shouldn't happen. Oh. Back off, back off, back off. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Why? Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do it. We can go. We can go. Go, Darius! Boom! No, not enough. We needed a vein, a little pike. These people are making this game so hard to win that all they need to do is not get caught. But the Pike and the Zin are permanently getting caught. Like, I've given up on the Vayne because she's just not getting involved. But, like, these two are making this game really hard. Like, Pike, that was, to be fair, that was Pike's first time he did that. But, like, Jesus. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Yes. Go on, lads. Oh, she still died. <sighs> Don't go too far. Wow! What am I watching? <laughs> oh my god, the pike! He just queued over the wall and did Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. 
Amazing. Like, what are you doing? I need people here. Darius killed the front line, we killed the back line. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Amazing. Hi again, sorry for the terrible commentary. I'm just not in the, a great mood now, but this game is just hilarious. Uh... <laughs> Someone's saying video title Huzzy Visits New Iron Rank. Yeah, it kind of feels like it. Nah, it'll probably be something to do with, like, what YouTubers have to put up with or something like that. Because I think it's a, it's a thing that people don't really think about that often. Because um, people kind of, I don't know, just kind of think that YouTubers just get on with it and don't get any distractions while playing. There's a lot of dis distractions while playing. Yeah, we win. Didn't even have Vayne in that team fight, by the way. They get another 4v5. So what I say, if we are going to win this game, please throw a like on the video. Because, uh, you know, it's a bit demoralizing what's happened this game, but I'm going to show it. Because why not? Yeah, I did say this guy needed a carry, and this guy showed up, so well done to this guy. Thank you very much, this Darius. Hey, I got a cheeky kill at the end. Oh, man. One more game to win out of two, and we get back to Diamond 2. But that wasn't nice. That was not very nice. Alright, well done, you. That was really a good performance by the Darius. He showed up big time. And again, he was the guy that was being nice and he was the one that recognized me. So that's cool. I don't know if he watches me. He might just know that I'm a YouTuber or something. Um, but we went 4-3-15, 185. We got an A, first win in promo to Diamond 2. And then damage done, doing the second most in the game behind the Darius. And then, yeah, these guys don't do that much. My lane opponent has a pretty bad game. But yeah, we are going to throw a bunch of reports out. So report this guy. And uh, report this guy. I don't think the Pike did anything from memory. Unless he did. I don't really remember that much. Um, but, uh... Yeah. Bit of a demoralizing game. But seeing the victory screen at the end obviously helps. And well done to the Darius. Big time. So I'd say, if you guys want to throw a, li a like on the video, that would be amazing. Um, I think I'm going to have like a two or three minute break. And then just go again. Because I want to try and get the promo out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hey, guys, so this here bringing you another video. So welcome back to Climb to Master, a return in Diamond 2 promo. Uh, we just played the game. That was a bit demoralizing. I played that game about 10 minutes ago, the uh, Malzahar one. We're back in another champion uh, lobby. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the loading screen before, because, again, I'm not doing the, champ the champion select because I'm just focusing on the gameplay. 
So there's something that is very obvious that looks terrible and I'm very worried. If you want to pause it, feel free, but the Draven. Again, the only people that should be playing Draven are Draven mains, and this person seems to, like, feed on Draven and doesn't win on Draven, so... This doesn't look that good, uh, but I am against a poppy that's never played it, but a Diamond 2 poppy, so... We'll see. This, this does make me nervous, having this Draven, but... Hopefully this game will go okay. Apparently the enemy bot lane are duo. Apparently. Someone looked it up in the, in the Twitch chat. I will say this wouldn't be a game that I'm disappointed if it's a remake. I'm just saying. Um, but again, it's not a remake. Never mind. I could have hoped. Alright, so team comp wise, I'm nervous about mid lane as well. Because that matchup is so very volatile is what you'd say about it. Um, either Zed will get fed or Zed will feed because the W from Cassiopeia counters a Zed. So, he is a Zed main, so I'm hoping he'll be okay. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I do outscale the Poppy. I didn't go Conqueror because I think Conqueror would have been a bit too BM. I think I'd get punished if I went Conqueror. Hail of Blades Lee Sin is a bit confusing to me. But okay. I don't get why you'd go an attack speed rune on Lee Sin. But yeah, if we win this, we're back in Diamond 2. If we lose this game, we still have one more chance. But I'm probably not going to play any more games today. I am feeling quite under the weather. Okay. How are you doing? Again, my, I've got a very good KDA and win rate with Yorick. But in most games that I play Yorick, I actually have to... That's really good. I have to carry if I'm going to win. Uh, I always get feeding teammates when I play this champion. But we usually do quite well ourselves. But that's a really good sign. Leeson killing Udyr. Yeah, if you're watching live on Twitch chat, send positive vibes. Give me your energy. Yeah, I've had headaches for three days in a row. I do think my headaches have originated from stress. Um, the whole YouTube situation that happened on Sunday night that made it... Nice. The whole YouTube situation that happened on Sunday night that basically made it so my video didn't get released um, to the public. That really stressed me out. Slow him, Zed. Zed can slow him with his E. Wow, they actually survived. They're gods. Go team! I believe in you! What it? I'm Diamond 2! <laughs> oh. What are you doing, Poppy? Oh, why would you teleport in like that? That's so BM. She just half healthed herself. That's such a waste of her, like, and, like life. Uh, don't. She's got W. Do you want to dive her? I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, they lived. I, I presume... Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Zed died, by the way, because he hadn't gone back yet. He had all that gold and he hadn't gone back. That's what we call a mistake. <laughs> I got black shielded. I was like, huh? I'm magic. Magic. 
them. Again, sorry for lack of commentary. I'm just, I'm not feeling well at the moment. And, uh, I'm just concentrating. I really, really want Diamond 2. Like, I said a few weeks ago that I'd be pretty, pretty damn happy if I finished the season in Diamond 2. Obviously, I went higher than that. I'm going to try and push for Diamond 1, but... Um, Diamond 2 is where a lot of people start respecting players in solo queue. Like, I, I think it's silly. I think you should start respecting people who hit Diamond. But a lot of people start kind of going, okay, Diamond 2, you're legit. She doesn't know that she can W those. Let's go, Lee. Listen to your heart. Would it be nice if I killed Poppy there, obviously, but I'll take it. Who counters Yorick? Um, honestly, he's a champion that's built around 1v1-ing, so not many champions beat him in a straight-up 1v1. Darius can. But a Darius has to be very careful because a Yorick could also kill a Darius. So, yeah. But again, it's what champions are built for, right? Yorick is built for only 1v1 people and just like basically brain dead split pushing that you can't really stop him. But you stop him by 2v1ing him, basically. Like, if you go off a win rate, which I know is not very important, Shen has an amazing win rate versus Yorick. The reasoning why... And, you know, if you wanted to get into why Shen is good, well, Shen can hold a Yorick in a 1v1 and probably buys a rock portal on Shen to slow down a Yorick. But then Shen can have a bigger impact with ulting away with his ultimate and teleporting back to top lane to stop the Yorick split push. So he just has a bigger global pressure than Yorick has. Uh, they both want to do similar things. Split push, tower pressure. But um, there's the W that I spoke about. Big counter to Zed. I think he's dead. Yep. Damn. Zed is struggling, but again, Cassio is a hard matchup for him. Cassio innately counters a Zed with the, the W. Uh oh. Uh oh. Coming, buddy. Okay, he's not dead. That's risky. Um, we really don't want this Lee Sin to die. He's 6-0 at the moment. The momentum at the moment is keeping this Lee Sin alive. If he starts like dying a couple times, we lose all the momentum of the game. And again, normally leads aren't that fragile. This lead is because it's a Lee Sin that's doing the carrying. Lee Sin is a snowballer, but if he... Uh, if he stops snowballing, the momentum just goes. Wow. Don't know where their Udir is, by the way. He's 0-3 with 28 farm. I don't know if he's, like, you know, still playing properly or what. Like, Mountain Dragon is up. I don't know if Lee Sin should go... F like, it's a Draven in the bot lane that hasn't got a kill and hasn't died. So, therefore, Draven will have a lot of stacks to use. Therefore, as a Lee Sin or even a Zed, you should probably prioritize trying to help out the Draven. Unless they just do it by themselves. Alright, then. There you go. 
Don't listen to me Never then. Do it by yourself. The list. Game top jam. Thanks so much, dude. I'm happy they did it by themselves, but why didn't they do that earlier? <laughs> um, the runes on Shen are a bit confusing. Demolish is very good. If you believe you can probably push, but the likelihood of being able to push on Shen is probably quite low if you are looking to ult away and stuff as well. We are whittling down this poppy's health bar, by the way, if you haven't noticed. We'll slowly whittle it down. What? Man. Can I can't go in tower because I'll tank the tower. No, I can. Ah, screw it. I probably didn't need to flash that, but I just wanted her to die. Udyr's got zero impact in this game because it's an Udyr. So I d I'm not scared of him coming top lane. So if I was scared of Udyr top, I would not flash for that. I'm not scared of him. Wait, really? Are they actually AFK? Alright, what I'd say, if, if it's true that these people are AFK... Then what I'm going to do is upload, is put this Yorick game in the Malzahar game that just happened and call it a Diamond 2 promo special. If, if it's true that the game is open, then yeah. Then I'll, I'll put both of these games together just to show the entire Diamond 2 promotion series. Because it does seem that the enemy team has opened apart from the poppy. Oh, wow, I think we just got Diamond 2. I'll uh, I'll also look at the end of the game what rank that makes us officially on EU West. Huh. Again, bit lame way to win. Uh, I think the Malzahar game that we just played was like a very worth win, you know, being Another kind of, name of the list. people being toxic, but we still kept our cool and played well. But this one doesn't feel as good. Oh, rip. This one doesn't feel as good if they're just opening. But I'm not going to say no to it because I want Diamond 2. <laughs> so Poppy really... Like, again, I, I, I really feel for the Poppy because she doesn't want to open and the rest of her team is, like, trolling her, basically. But this is the type when, when yeah, you just accept that they're going AFK. You report them at the end of the game and that's it. Again, I would see Lee, like she's defending because she doesn't want to give up, which is fair enough. But I will be reporting the Udir, Lucian, and the Nami. I think it is. Ah, he died. But there we go. So I will put this game on the the back of the Malzahar game. Um, because just to make it a Diamond 2 promo. Uh, we'll give it to the Lee. He played really well. Alright, get out of that. And... Diamond 2! There we go. That's nice. That does feel good to be back in Diamond 2 at least. Uh, so we do go 301, 102 farm. Get an S minus. Leeson got an S minus as well. And the damage done doing the most damage in the game. So if I can quickly look up what rating we are now on EU West, I don't know if it'll do it that quick, but hopefully it does. Um, no, it hasn't updated. So I would say before it updates, I'm ranked 5,000 on EU West. And again, remember, because um, again, a lot of people will compare it to North America. If you want to compare it to North America, that's fine. But basically double the number um, of rank because... EU West has double the amount of players that North America does. So if, say, someone's rank 1,000 on North America, that's the equivalent of being ranked 2,000 on EU West. Um, 
roughly, obviously. So if I was on North America, I'd be ranked 2,500, give or take. So that, that's not bad. Um, so we will also throw reports on uh, the Udyr for AFKing, the Lucian for AFKing, and the Nami for AFKing. Like, again, I'm a little bit... I, I, I'm okay with opening now to a certain extent if your team all accepts the open. If there is one or two people, like this Poppy, did not want to open, then you do not open. If you are then going AFK when no when not everybody has agreed to it, you are then completely it's completely fine to report them people for AFK because that's exactly what they're doing. But that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did uh, enjoy it, throw a like on it, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll continue climbing and try to get into Diamond One. By the time this video comes out, it'll probably be about two weeks or so until the season ends. Where I'm recording again a bunch of content ahead. There's like three weeks of content left. Um, so anyway, like, subscribe, see you guys next time. See ya.